Hello, once again, to another video by me. By me. Um, no. Uh, Mountain Dew. Uh, this is already dumb. Pillow. Um, so yeah, another thing I want to do for this channel is discussion type things. So, that's what this is. And I'm kind of tired, so this is... This is me when I'm just worn out. Yesterday was really hard at work. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, today, I'm talking about Disney Infinity and Skylanders, and my opinions on them personally. So, um, you know, after this video, if you want to leave a comment on your thoughts or opinions, you can do that, because that's what this is all about. Um, I'm going to be doing these videos just every now and then when something new pops up uh, that everyone seems to hate or something like that. And a lot of people don't seem to like Disney Infinity and Skylanders. Um, they have their reasons for it and I understand them. Um, but yeah. Uh, so the main problem that I hear with it is it's a cash grab. Like it's, it, it's just, it wastes so much of your money and the games aren't that fun anyway. Well, to me, I find them kind of fun. Um, the Skylanders game that I had, the first one for the 3DS, it was actually kind of fun. I didn't mind it too much. Um, and uh, I can see it's it's definitely more for kids because it's super easy. The only real challenge in the game is getting everything because you need certain characters for things. Um, like, there are certain challenges and levels that you can't do without a certain element of Skylanders. And Skylanders only comes with, like, three. And there's, like, 16 elements or something. Um, so that's the only real challenge in the game. Uh, as for Disney Infinity, I haven't played it, but I've seen many people play it. And it looks fine. It's another little adventure game as far as I've seen. Then of course the toy box, where you can just mess around and do whatever you want. Um, so, that's fine. I don't mind it. Um, I have my reasons for not wanting to get Disney Infinity, but I'll go into that in a second. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know if he still works, but I have a Baymax, and I don't have him for Disney Infinity, but Big Hero 6 is my all-time favorite movie, so... Uh, and he popped up in Goodwill for, like, three dollars. And, like, I even brought it to them when I worked there, and I said, you know these can go for, like, fifteen dollars, right? We could easily make this ten dollars. Nah, just keep it at three. Alright. Fine. I would gladly give you ten dollars for it. <clears throat> because even ten dollars is cheaper than it normally is. But... I got a Skype message, I apologize. Um, I'm not gonna respond to it right now, though. Um, but the only reason that I will not be getting Disney Infinity at all, including the 3.0 version, is mainly because, like, now it's Disney Infinity 3.0 and they've included Star Wars characters, which is fine. But. I can't play as my favorite character. According to the official Disney Infinity website, my favorite character in Star Wars is not a figure, which means he's not playable. And my favorite character is General Grievous. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like a robot with four lightsabers and four arms? Who doesn't like that? But he's strictly a boss in the game, so... So yeah, that upsets me a little bit. Uh, that's probably the only reason I won't be getting Disney Infinity. Um, but, the new Skylanders game, I'm super excited for that. Superchargers, or Supercharged, something like that. Um, you get to play as <laughs> Bowser. <laughs> like, there's, there's no other reason I want this game. I want to play as Bowser. I have to play as Bowser. I got adjust my seat and now my laptop because I'm sitting on the floor. That's a little bit better. Um, what else? Um, 
a lot of complaints. Um, uh, a complaint that people have with Skylanders, including somebody that I know, and he, he watches my videos, so he'll probably know who I'm talking about. Uh, he says... That's my ringtone. Um, um, he is, well, I know that. He's not playable. Sorry, it's about, it's about Disney Infinity and how General Grievous is just a boss. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's the guy that doesn't like Disney Infinity and Skylanders, actually. That'd be my boyfriend. So, <laughs> he doesn't know I'm making a video. Um, but, like, his complaint is that it's not Spyro. Spyro the Dragon was a t um, 3D platforming game where you went around collected things, and Skylanders is just a beat-em-up game. Which I understand, but, you know, you gotta try something different from time to time, and Skylanders, and maybe Disney Infinity, I don't know, it's making a lot of money, and because it's making a lot of money, that tells them that it's working. Um, yeah, that does suck. Um, that tells the people that made the game, this is working, we need to keep going with this, we need to make more of this game. So, I understand, you gotta make money somehow in the world, and that's just how they're doing it with Spyro. Um, by the way, new amiibo. You haven't seen my Kirby, excuse me, you haven't seen my Kirby. Since I'm showing off figures... That's the only three video game figures I actually have, though. Um. So, yeah. Uh. I can't think of more complaints that people have. Um. Off the top of my head. Maybe there's a post about it. Maybe there's some posts about it. Why Skylanders sucks. You never know. Why Spyro Skylanders sucks. Well, I don't want to... I mean, we don't want videos. Spyro's Adventure Skylanders. There. 30 reasons why Skylanders sucks. Lots of people use sucks. Let's see. All these characters... Okay. It just starts off. This is a new series where I talk about games and put up reasons why they're bad or good. Just leave me a suggestion and I'll get right to it. Oh, what a start. The fact that this game exists. That's a terrible point. <laughs> Do I... <laughs> the fact that this game exists. It's not a bad game. It's just not your thing. All these characters are idiots. Spyro's one of those characters, dude. Is Spyro... No. The main villain can't spell his own name right. How do you know? You didn't make the villain. Spyro looks like he got hit by a train. It looks fine to me. You can't jump. Did you play Skylanders? Because you can jump. <laughs> you can jump. Uh, the combat is slow. With some characters. The puzzles are easy. It's for kids. Uh, the map is as easy as taking a nap watching daytime TV. It's for kids. It was intended for kids. Spyro! The original Spyro was intended for kids. Granted, it was harder, but... It's so short that in a speedrun you can beat it in ten hours. That's not short. <laughs> speedrunning in 10 hours? There are games that can be beaten in 45 minutes in a speedrun, dude. I beat Zeo Drifter in 45 minutes without speedrunning. Good lord. It's like Pokemon, just more of a ripoff. <laughs> this guy has no idea what he's talking about. It's like Pokemon. Yes, because in Pokemon, you have to buy every single Pokemon. Uh, why do I need to pay $10 just to get one crappy Skylander to play the game? <laughs> Did you not? 
Like, the original Disney Infinity actually did it right. It was free. All you needed was the portal and the characters. Dark and Legendary Skylanders are no different than originals. But they're Dark and Legendary. You can't even fly with Skylanders that have wings. You can't fly with Spyro in the original game. You could glide, which you can do with Skylanders with wings. The side challenges are easy and dumb. Well, some of them. Like I said, you need certain... The graphics are horrible. Keep in mind this is on 360. One, graphics don't make a game. And two, they're fine. They're good enough. It's not like the graphics are hindering the game. Hmm. Whenever you whenever you die, you can just put another Skylander on the portal. If you ever die. That's the fun. <laughs> that's that's the whole point of Skylanders. Giants is only slightly better. Well, yeah. The co-op sucks. Did you even play co-op? Because I never got to, but I thought it was fun. The multiplayer battles suck. <laughs> uh, you'll never notice the damage upgrades. Probably not, but a lot of games do that. Uh, the discounts are hidden in the most obvious places. What are discounts? The discounts don't even take much of your gold prices. I don't know what discounts are. <laughs> The collectibles are either hidden in incredibly stupid places or incredibly hard places. This game's too easy! Nightmare mode is hardly any easier, any harder than easy mode. The final boss is a joke. Uh, did I get to the final boss? I think so. I don't remember it, though. Uh, it just keeps reusing the game's earlier boss fights. Well, other games have done that, too. Those boss fights suck, too. Technically, you need te you technically need to pay a lot of extra money to 100% the game. Well, yeah, but DLC, that's a thing, too. The main villain's voice is grating. Well, you're a very nitpicky person, more than I am. The legendary treasures are stupid. Then don't use them! And that was 30 reasons why this game should burn. And that's 30 reasons... Ugh. <laughs> oh, and that's 30 reasons why you should never do that again. But, like, you know, I get, like, picking on little teeny tiny things to make a point. Like, I do it every now and then, but it's mainly for a joke. This guy's being serious. It's like, dude, you just gotta calm down. Like, there are far worse games than Skylanders, okay? <laughs> like, look at the... Before you nitpick something, look at the commercials. Who do you primarily see? Kids. The game's intended for kids. Now, yeah, like, oh, I saw a teenager and an adult in there, so you can't tell me that who were they playing with. A kid. <laughs> so, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I promise you. Ugh. Like... I, I don't know. I'm I'm all for the kids. For the children. That's an obscure reference that probably very few people will get. But, um, by the way, if you watch my... Let's play. This is the thing. That's the thing I use, and I'm going to use. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little thing. Just, if you don't like something that is doing well and I'm guilty of this too so I'm being slightly hypocritical here and I'll explain that in a second but if you don't like something that is extremely successful then don't say it's pure garbage because it's not it's clearly doing something right because it's making tons of money they're making sequel after sequel after sequel so they're doing something right my example of this is Five Nights at Freddy's I was very, I had very mixed feelings about it. Like, when the first game came out, I couldn't even watch it. It was terrifying. But, you know, after that, like a few years or so, no, not years, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm thinking. I'm tired, if you don't remember. But after a while, I started, like, um, sort of relaxing with scary games. Um, 
uh, at least watching them. I don't know how I do with playing them. I think I'd be okay, but I don't have any scary games to play that work well. Um, but after the second game was announced, I was like, oh, cool. And then it got released super quickly. I was like, oh, okay, let's go with that. Then the third game got announced, and I I hated it from the start. I thought it was stupid completely. And then the game comes out, and I still think it's stupid. Like, uh, me and my friends have a, a bit of a challenge to try and describe the Five Nights at Freddy's games in one word. Um, and, like, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I think, is the least scary out of all of them, personally. Um, and then Five Nights at Freddy's 4 got announced after he had posted a thing that said The End on his channel or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 gets announced. And I was mad. I really was, personally. And I know this isn't a Five Nights at Freddy's discussion video, but I'm making a point. Um, I was really, really frustrated because he said it was over and now it's not. And I'm, I'm just kind of neutral. I can make that a completely separate video if you'd like me to. I might. I feel like discussing things now, so I'll probably make one more discussion video today at some point but you know now i'm just i'm just neutral i don't hate the series i don't love the series i just it's just a series i'm only gonna be watching it like if someone asks me to play it sure i'll, I'll try it i guess um i have played them before though and yeah it's all right um, it's just not my kind of game. I gotta put my phone over here. But, if you all have a particular thing that you would like me to discuss and... <laughs> if you all have a thing that you would like me to discuss and give my opinions on, let me know in the comments and stuff, and I'll do that. I will give all of my opinions about a thing. Um, so, that's the end of this one. I'm gonna stop before it gets to 20 minutes. Can you tell I'm tired? My eyes are a bit squinty. <sighs> that didn't help at all. Uh, oh well. Goodbye, everybody.